Hey, what's up guys? Chris M. Walker, Superstar SEO and Legit here. In today's video, we're going to continue our outsourcing case study. It's been a couple of weeks since the last video, so we're going to check in on the last service we bought and then build out the rest of the site and keep working on getting it ranking and getting it making some money. So let's dive into the computer, see where we're at and see where we can go from here. What's up guys? Here we are here at Legit, the best freelancing website in literally the entire history of the internet. I just so happen to own it, so I might be slightly biased, but today we're going to check in on our status and before the end of this video, we're going to do a running total. Well, we're going to find out how much we've spent so far and then have a running total in future videos. So when we last left off, we had bought this local keyword research service. And it was pretty expensive for a keyword service, but I'm really, really happy with what I got. It took two weeks, but I mean, it was still on time, so nothing wrong with that. But let's, first of all, let's read what he sent us. It's really in depth, and I really think he did a good job. He, said, he says, hi, please find your keywords attached. I manually collect a list of plumbing services and look at population data for surrounding areas to curate this list. It's a very time consuming process via just curating and sending a bunch of keywords. Part of my work includes manually analyzing GMB listings, map pack, and the SERP as a whole, analyzing types of site, ranking search intent, backlinks, and more. My overall comp score is a rough score that takes three factors into account, GMB and SERP comp, and all in title results. Some of these plumbing service keywords are ideal for combining into one page. For example, shower installation and shower repair could become shower installation and repair Myrtle Beach. The other keywords provided are for local areas and would be ideal for creating individual service area pages such as Plumber North Myrtle Beach. North Myrtle Beach, by the way, it doesn't look like you knew that, but North Myrtle Beach is an entirely different city. So that's kind of the point he's making there. Local search volume is very inaccurate, so I ignore it. I agree with him on that. You can usually get a good amount of traffic from these terms despite tools showing zero search volume. Remember, you also rank for near me terms and long tail terms on these pages. A lot of these plumbing service keywords have irrelevant results in SERP and search intent is not met, which is a good sign. If you can create relevant pages around these keywords, you'll be able to rank and CTR, which stands for click-through rate, should be decent as you'll serve user intent versus other results in SERP. So you can see this is a really well thought out response, not just thank you for your business, please leave me a review, that sort of thing. Let's see what he delivered. Oh, and by the way, if the, uh, the sound is a little off today, it's because I'm working at a home and my acoustics here are not very good. So please forgive me for that. It looks like he had, let me see, I think I can zoom in. Let me zoom in for you. All right. So he has a pretty good list. And he, these are the kinds of ones that he says can be combined. Bathtub, bath installation and repair, shower installation and repair, boiler installation and repair. And you get the idea. You don't need me to read the whole thing to you. I like how he told you how many all in titles there are. That's really key. You can usually snipe keywords like that pretty easily. Uh, and the overall competition, the area and the population. It's population, by the way, it is accurate, but it's also not because we get four million or so tourists a year here. So it's always way higher than that. Not that it matters. I just, I don't know. I felt like I needed to defend that. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> okay. Uh, the search volume, only one of, or well, only these two have any search volume, and that's okay. And then let's look at plumber plus suburb. Zoom in on that. Okay, so I, I realize most people watching this are not from this area, so these are all cities that are around here. Technically, Sakasti is not a separate city. It's part of Myrtle Beach, but, you know, that's one of those things that only a local would know, and I'm not even really sure where Red Hill is, to be honest. But we'll probably make pages for those as well, because even though there's not much search volume, you know, one or two here and there, totally worth it, right? So, like, this one would probably be real easy to pick off. So, what we're probably going to do is combine the ones that he suggests be combined, and get some content written for those, and then create the pages for the, the site to kind of keep building it out and making it grow and, you know, do all those cool things. So I don't think you need to watch me buy content again because 
and frankly, I've already done that like three times in this case study. So you kind of get the, the process for finding content. But like I said, what I'm going to do is get, let me just highlight these so you can kind of see what I'm thinking. I'm going to take these two, get one article, combine them into one article. Take these two, one article. These two, let's see, one article. These two, that's tacky. One article. Uh, and we already have something kind of for that one, so I don't need it. And this one could probably be on the page that we already created as well. Sump pump, I'm not really sure what that is, but well, that'll be its own article. Water treatment system, drain cleaning, clog drain, and water heat heater installation mortgage. Okay. So, and then kind of the same thing here. These are all different though. So I'll probably create pages for each of these. So that's, I'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So basically about 20 more articles, which is unfortunately going to get a little bit costly. I'll see if there's somebody that has like a batch where I can buy like 10 for a reasonable price or something like that. And maybe I'll make a video doing that afterwards. But I think for now, I, we're gonna stop buying any service on the, in this particular video. And what we're gonna do is gonna go through and create a, like a running total. And I'll actually go ahead and create a, uh, what do you call it? A Google doc so you can have the links to the service we bought and how much we've spent and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and create the total on video and then I'll leave the the link to the Google Sheet with the, the services and what it was and um, how much it costs in the description of this video as well. well, as well. Now let's go ahead and get a running total. So we're going to go buying and orders. Let's zoom back out some. And that's, about, that's good enough. Okay, so let's create a drive. All right, I've spent hours designing the sexiest spreadsheet that's ever been created. <laughs> Not really. So let's just start from the beginning. We got web design for $135. And I'll fill out the whole thing after the video is over. So you guys will have the whole thing. You don't need to see me type that all out. We paid $135. We got logos. We got one, two, two logos. All right, I thought we did more than that. Yeah, it looks like we got two, three logos, but one got canceled, that's what happened. So we got two logos for $10 and $15. And do, do, do. we got Content, we got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven pieces of content written. Two. Content and they were 10, 10, 10, 15. Seven, 15, and 15. Now, I'm gonna probably end up saying this again, but some of this stuff you wouldn't normally pay for, or at least I wouldn't, I would do it myself in-house, and I would have one person that I used instead of trying a few different ones. So the total here, my point in that story is the total here is gonna be a little higher than it would be. So looks like we got, he ended up delivering, so I'm gonna put him in the sheet too. It looks like we got two sets of profile links 
to profile links. Profile links, and they were ten dollars and five dollars. A lot of people asked for a running total, so that's why I'm going through this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, SSL, and that was five dollars. Page SEO for ten dollars. We got another set of foundation links, another set of foundation links, another <laughs> foundation links. We went way overboard with the foundation links. Uh, so, oh, and we got the the, uh, the link the link crawler. So that was for five dollars. And then we had how many more foundation links? We had one, two, three, four. Four more sets of foundation links. And they cost 10, 7, 12, and 15. And then I think site speed was the next thing we got, and that cost us 39. And then we got social signals, which was five dollars. And proofreading. We got one, and that was five dollars. <throat> and then we got two sets of PBNs. One was ten, one was twenty. And then we got keyword research, which was 35. So that brings our total to, let's put it down here because we're gonna need some more. I'm so bad at spreadsheets, guys. Like I know how to make the numbers, but I don't know how to make them, lay them out in a logical way. Why does it have a dollar sign? That's interesting that it's only putting the dollar sign on that one. Somebody out there is going, it's not that interesting, Chris. We know why it's doing that, just because you don't. So let's total this up. Looks like it's gonna be around $200. Or 445, is that right? Yeah, that is right. So apparently my ability to look at a list of numbers and tell you how much uh, it is, like the total is not that great. I can't seem to zoom in on this either, which is interesting. Ah, there we go. All right, so uh, like I said, I'll leave this in the, uh, the description, but that's what we've got so far, $445. Like I said, that's much higher than you would normally do because you wouldn't do four different kinds of foundation links and different profile links. And you probably don't need that much content for blog posts and stuff, but we were just testing different services. So you could probably get this down to 300 or, or even less, you know, and you, if, assuming that you could do some of this yourself. So I think that's probably a good place to stop this video. Uh, we are at $445. In the next video, I'll have bought some more content and I'll update you on what that is and then, or what ones I got, for example, and then I'll put it on the site myself. I'll probably optimize those pages myself because there's no need to go back and get another set of on-page optimization. And then we'll see where we're ranking and where we go from there. We may 
after that be at the point where we can start monetizing the site a little bit too so maybe selling some leads or doing something like that so I don't know. I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are too. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I respond to almost every question in the comments. And, you know, if you like stuff like this, do me a favor. It helps me out with a ton with the algorithm. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I know this probably wasn't the most exciting video, but it's. Uh, I think it's, we're moving along really well. And we'll be able to monetize this site and get some money for charity soon. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next one.